he's, he's, he's like he's robbed you. He's daylight robbery. Stop That's him. what he's saying. Go back, go back. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake. You can't do a three and a half ton lorry on a piece of metal that thing. We haven't even got anybody's oh names yet. What's going on? Hang, hang on. Hang on. What's happening, guys? We're Craig and Amy, and you are watching King and It. And after we thought we'd found a loophole to get us and our van out of Morocco, we walked in to the biggest scam of our lives. If you're new around here, we've been in Morocco for three months, but our visas have expired. We've got to go to court. We are traveling in our bus custard, but the government has suspended all passenger ferries out of the country due to the lockdown, so we haven't been able to leave. We did, however, find a loophole to ship our van from Morocco to Spain and get a flight to pick her up. That was the plan. But what seemed like a simple task turned into the worst 48 hours we have ever had on our travels. Just listen to me. I understand the situation. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Good morning from Cast of the Bus. Today is this kid's last day in Morocco. Oh, don't remind me. You know I love flying and I'm the best at it and I never miss flights or anything like that, so. I'm not even joking you, I've missed the flight. I'm not nervous or anything for tomorrow. The last time you, you had two flights to get and you got one. This time you got three flights to get, so how many do you reckon you'll get? I'm not very good at maths, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the anxiety has kicked in a little bit. I wanna try and keep myself busy today, so. Well, we've got a busy day. We've got loads of stuff to do. Yeah. If you missed last week's video, I will be taking three sausage dogs from Morocco to the UK, flying for, to Barcelona first, and then taking them in the van. I'm so gutted that I can't be there. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're small. I feel like they'd be more manageable. If they're naughty, I'll just lock them in the bathroom. <laughs> but just remember, I have one request. Yeah. Take them to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> There's three berries under there. Pop them on. Take a lovely picture and send it to me. I'll do my best. All right, should we get up? No. You making pancakes? No. Oh, you're so good to me, babes. Let me just show you the view from this campsite. Oh, not too bad. Oh my god, is that Michael Bolton? You popping the kettle on, Mikey B? Yeah, <laughs> we need to clean this whole place. Oh, that's not too bad. Gonna miss these palm trees, that's for sure. Should I put this whiskey away or do you want it in your coffee? Oh, morning? I'll have a little bit of my coffee. So I had a little dram last night, if you haven't tried this, if you, if you want to get into Japanese whiskey, Nika from the barrel, it is a beauty. Oh, very sweet. Mm. Tasting notes of oat, grass. You mean nose notes? And bubble bath. Bubble bath. <laughs> Got a question for you. Do you brush your teeth before or after your breakfast? That's a good question. Let's get ready for the day. Ready? Wait for me. You little hot babes. You're driving a little choo choo train today. I got it off Mohammed. He was a nice guy. All right, today we've got two more illegal recruits. All aboard. James. Chloe. Nice to meet you, innit? It's Trevor! <laughs> <laughs> right, first stop, coppers. Okay, as always, the formalities in Morocco make everything really difficult. We went into the visa um, office and said, is it possible to get an extension because this, this and this? And he just went, no. And then after I explained everything to him like three times, 
He spoke perfect English as well. Um, he said he wants five copies of our passports, our stamp of arrival, and our flight tickets. So you've got to find the photocopy and shop. <laughs> oh, I knew this isn't going to be straightforward. We're legal! Yay! <laughs> so it turns out we didn't need five copies of everything, we just needed one. They just sent us on a wild goose chase. Um, but yeah, he said, go to the airport. We're going to email all the airports that you're going to and tell them that you're legit. So, we'll see what happens. I've got to get another PCR test. Fern! Be nice. <laughs> Gross. Found a fella to wash custard whilst we go for food. Four quid. A bit pricey, but he's a nice guy. Tried to sell me some weed too. So that day took way longer than we thought it would, but we've got all the important things finished. We're about to see how shiny custard is after her wash. Oh, she's shining bright. Look at that. Like a brand new bus. We woke up at 6 a.m. and we made our way towards the airport. Amy was due to fly to Northern Ireland to see her mum and her sister. The only route was to take three flights and as Amy sometimes gets really bad anxiety before flying, this was a lot to anticipate. As we pulled up outside, it all got a bit too much for our Amy. By not going on the flight today, like, I will be letting my sister down. That's okay, that's okay, it's, she'll understand. I can't feel like this, eh? Are you okay? I know, I know. I don't know, great. I can't get on it. Why? Because it's. What are, you, what are you afraid of? Just feeling so, so sick and. Like, just having a panic attack on my own. Yeah. But I feel really annoyed at myself. Don't be it's okay, it's just a hurdle. Yeah, but I've gone backwards now. It's okay. Oh, I'm so disappointed. We'll just strike this one off. Do you know what I mean? This isn't you forever. This is just a bad one. And f it. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't. You haven't lost. You haven't failed at anything. It's just a bad one. It's just like having a bad day. You know. Yeah, right, babes. Love you, loads, babes. In the end, we decided it would be best if Amy stayed with me and we both fly together to Barcelona in a few days. For anybody out there who suffers with anxiety, it's always good to try and push yourself and go out of your comfort zone. But one thing that we've learned is that you also need to listen to your body sometimes and if it's too much, it's okay to say no. We booked Captain B a new flight and went back to the campsite so she could have a sleep before the big mission of shipping the vans. Deep down, I was really happy that Amy got to stay because what was about to happen in the next 24 hours, I wouldn't have wanted to go through alone. If you saw last week's video, we've been in contact with a guy called Adil, who works for a shipping company. We were quoted 1400 euros by Adil to ship both of our vans. Adil then gave us a contact for a forwarding agent who would help us with paperwork and loading the vans onto the ship at the port. So we drove an hour from Tangier to the port in Tangier Med to meet this fella. Okay, this is our guys. I think they're gonna try and pull us with these trucks. I don't know how they're gonna pull custard because it backs awfully low and the suspension drops. But I guess we're gonna try. Meet Nassar. This crooked scoundrel was about to swipe 1,400 euros from us without us even knowing. And this is the bad boy crew. Self-proclaimed. We later find out these boys would do anything to get our vans on their trucks including dismantling and breaking their own tracks to get their money. The next few hours consisted of some of this, a bit of this, and a lot of not listening. Oh my God. These smelly pirates only had one thing on their minds, dollar dollar D-rooms, y'all. Oh, for God's sake. Sake. Literally taking like half of the ground off with us. Okay. Stop, stop. Okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, good, good. They're just, they're just mad. They're just gung ho. Yeah, just go up. We're just like scratching the shits out of the bike rack. But the guy said he's got another truck, so we're gonna go follow him. He's not gonna try and get me on from by there, is he? He's not gonna fit. It's too big. Too big. No, no, it's worse. It's worse. No, no, not the problem. Okay. It's like Mongolia all over again. Except this time we've got a six ton bus. Even by some miracle, if we do get this on, how are they getting it off? They're just like, yeah, 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 be fine, be fine. But, well, no, it won't, because if we crack the bottom of custard, who's paying for that? Because it ain't them, I know, that's for sure. All right, take two. Oh, my God. No, I think you're all right for now. That's a big overhang. She's literally on here by the skin of her feet. So we were asking him if they needed to come in and check anything. And he's like, you got any drugs? And I was like, no, any guns? No. And I was like, we've got a lot of whiskey though, is that okay? And after a bit of Google Translate, he was like, if you give me some, be okay. So I think you're all right. All right, I really don't know how I feel about this. It's just mad, isn't it? Yeah, you just trust anyone. And they just go, yeah, I'll take it here. And you go, all right, yeah. hopefully it gets there. Bye Custard, we, we love you! Oh my god, that looks like it's going to just pull oh. the other end of it off. Problem number two. Nah, man. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. Stop! James! James, stop! No! It's not going to work! It's ridiculous. All right. Come on now, let's, let's use our heads, yeah? Safe. Have you broken your brakes? Got no brakes. You can't do a three and a half ton lorry on a piece of metal that thin. How are you feeling, mate? Fantastic. <laughs> That's how they do it here, so we guess we gotta go for it. Okay, custard and biscuit loaded up. Not ideal. I handed Nassar 1400 euros so that he could take his cut and hand the rest over to a deal and the shipping company. But Nassar was never going to pay the shipping company. Nassar was out to make 1400 euros cash money. And my stupid ass handed it over and was laughing and joking with him. The bad boy crew came, brought tiny trucks to load our lengthy vans, nearly broke both of them, and then walked away with all of our money, which meant we still owed the shipping company 1,400 euros. And it didn't end there. Get this guy's face, just no. in case the vans don't show up. <laughs> what a palaver. But the vans are going somewhere. Hopefully they show up in Barcelona, because that's where we're going. They're going on holiday, Craig. <laughs> Now we need to get a taxi back to Tangier and tell the coppers that Amy's flying from Casablanca and not Tangier. Shortly after we arrived in the city, we had an email with a lovely invoice from the shipping company. We told them that we had just paid Nassar and that he would be in touch to pay them their money. However, they told us Nassar does not work for them. He's just a contact they have and we should never have paid him on behalf of the shipping company. We paid him 14,700 dirham, which is what you said to do at the port. Nassar has all of the money, so you check with Nassar. They're trying to tell me now that we haven't paid the invoice. Right. Which is 7,500, but we've paid your man at the port cash. Okay. So they need to speak to him because we're not paying double. Yeah, we understood from our side that what we were paying Nassar was the total price. No, I understand that, but he is your contact. So he told us that we were paying for both of the vans and that you would get your money. Okay, I, a deal. you need to listen to me because this is my money and I've paid Nassar, so Nassar has your money. You have his number. Could you please call him and ask him to pay you your money because I, I can't pay double the price. They, they want to charge us. He's, he's, he's like he's robbed you. He's daylight robbery. Stop That's it. what he's saying. He said, it's not my responsibility. And I said, you need to call him. For sake, man. And just to add insult to injury, Adil said it was our fault. I 
bit he walked to loot this cargo he said we have always problems with the passengers and uh, we must take a decision uh, not to work with the uh, i mean passengers like you because there's always uh, last minute problems and uh, i mean it's not my it's not that. my fault that i got robbed that's your contact your contact was the one who took our money so how is that fair you, you owe me like 1400 euros, yeah. Well, Nassar has that money. I knew he was your contact, but I thought he was going to pay you that cash. That's what he told me. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, yeah. Just doesn't care. In the meantime, Chloe and James had to catch their flight to Barcelona, so we said our goodbyes. Yes, you're in Barcelona! With <laughs> <laughs> a load of dogs. And hopefully two vans. Yeah. <laughs> or two half vans. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that ain't the video we planned on making today, is it, kid? No. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm so tired. Sometimes in life, you just gotta take a big fat L on the chin. One of them. <laughs> At least we got each other, eh, babes? That's what I wanna hear, Craig. <sighs> Tomorrow's a new day. The next day, a deal had even more bad news for us. The vans were supposed to leave Wednesday morning, but because we didn't pay the shipping company on time, nobody actually answered when we were ready to swallow our pride and actually pay. The shipping company manager blocked the vans from boarding the ferry. The, the van that doesn't, uh, not uh, loaded on the board, so the next departure it will be in two days, in um, 26, 26 February, uh, February 26th. We, we, we live in those vans and we fly to Barcelona tomorrow and this is just an absolute mess. We were told that if we could pay the invoices quickly, there would be a chance that both vans would be loaded on the boat that morning. Okay. Okay, can you, can you do, help us quickly as possible? Yeah. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Kenza. Bye. Thank Have you. a nice day. You too. Bye now. Bye. Hell, man. So they want 15,000 dirham today and they want cash and they want us to go to another city. But we can't take that money out in one day because it's impossible and we leave tomorrow. Can you put me through to Adil, please? It's really urgent. We need to make a payment to ship our vans today. Uh, uh, Craig? Hello, Craig? hello, yeah. Can I, can I call you back, please? Uh, I have bad news, but I will call you uh, later on. Okay, okay. what's in, your... In what? five minutes, in five minutes. Just what you want to hear. I've got some bad news. I'll call you back in five minutes. Brilliant. We must have missed the shipping. Yeah, probably. Hello. Uh, here is the situation. The vessel has left Tangier Med, has completed operation and already left Tangier Med. He did not load uh, your uh, camping cars as they remain now at Tangier Med storage area. The next possibility would be only on Saturday, 26th. The 26th, are you joking? Now we have missed this. this I know, this I call. well I tried to call every number possible last night, but nobody, well, I was ready to pay last night with a card. I called every single number and I emailed to say, call me to pay and nobody called me. Okay, if you email me your company bank details, I can send a payment. The worst uh, news is that you have to deal again with the uh, with the scammer no the no not. no Absolutely no not. ideal you can't no, no, do no. it just 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 listen to me <sighs> uh, a, a deal this we, morning we just leave. listen to me please just listen to me i understand situation a deal. We, we, we leave. We leave. We literally have a flight tomorrow to leave the country. Okay. So I can't go and, and deal with Nasa. It's impossible. I, I leave Hello. the country. Okay. I will send you an email straight away. All right. Like in five minutes. Thank you. Welcome. What an absolute. This is lit. How can this get any worse? It can't. It can't get any worse. I'm just so annoyed that they didn't have us pay this morning, and then it. <sighs> We were about to reluctantly pay the 1400 euros and a deal sent me the bank details in the form of a French letter with no numbers on it. I should not send you letters in French, but yeah, because I don't speak French, mate. <laughs>
because of the scam we paid the wrong guy the full amount and he's accepted that of course he has um, but these guys were the ones who we contacted in the first place yeah every every wire that could possibly be crossed has so an extra 1400 pounds for nothing basically i've got to get another pcr test because um, i didn't take my flight the other day because i had a little meltdown um, and we've also got to go back to the police station because chloe and james flew to barcelona this morning uh, and they were they were pulled aside called into a little room why have you overstayed your welcome obviously going to the police station the other day to extend our visas meant nothing because they did nothing about it so we want to go back to the police station now make sure that they've emailed or faxed Casablanca where me and Craig will be flying out of Morocco tomorrow from. Make sure that they know we're coming and we don't get pulled aside interrogated like Chloe and James. Went back to see our visa guy, explained that Chloe and James got stopped and had their photos taken and they got interrogated why they overstayed their visa and he said it's normal. it's normal. It's normal. I said, no, it's not normal because you should have told them that they, that you had the paperwork and then you, you gave us the all clear. He's like, who told you you needed oh, to get communication to the, to the airport that you'd vote with stage of visa? I was like, you, you mate, that was you. You did. And you said like, it. Oh, you don't need it. It's fine. He's like, did they make it? We're like, well, yeah, they did. But there was a problem. He's like, then it's fine. So it's normal. It's fine. He's got shades on in the police station. And this is what he said. This is what he said at the end. He said, if they call you in and you have a photo, do like this. That's literally what he said in a government building. That's what we're working with here. Mental. He goes, if you don't make it out of the country, you can come back and kill me. I'm like, I will hold you to that. I, I wish I had it on camera. PCR test. <laughs> so I just spoke to a deal who's the shipping agent guy and he said that he's got a mate who did the night shift. He's waiting for him to wake up. So he can ask him to ask his mate to call the scammer and ask him about storage, even though he doesn't work at the port. I'm about as confused as whoever's watching this video is right now. Just ordered a panini with no cheese. It's got cheese in it. Tickets, Tangier to Casablanca on the bullet train. Please drive. Please drive. Tangier. Tangier. Have some of that. No. Card not accepted. Back to the beginning, fam. Silver lining, we're in the first class lounge. We'll get free orange shoes, mate. Yay, something went right. So I didn't know this, but they've actually got bullet trains in Morocco. So it's a six hour drive usually to Casablanca from Tangier. You can get there in two hours on this. Happy days. Thanks. So the reason we're on this train to Casablanca is uh, because we're going to pick up three dogs from Casablanca airport and take them back to the UK which I'm so excited about. But the only airline that accepts dogs goes from Casablanca airport so we've had to catch a two hour train down here. But we're going to get to meet them all in the morning. Can't wait to get back to Europe, book an Uber. <laughs> know how much I'm paying for a taxi. Like taxi? Yes, please. On the meter? Yeah. Get to his taxi, 50 dirham. No mate, you just said meter. I won't have it, it not today. About 10, 10 dirham, not 50. I think we're just, being, we're just so sick of being ripped off now. It's like a couple of quid here and there, but we're just, it's, no, we're not having it. Thank you very much. Check Oh, it is, yeah. That smells amazing in here. Oh, she's posh, Craig. Well, we thought we needed some luxury after everything that's gone on. How's the view? Not too bad. Oops. Seems better. Let's go and get some doggos. Um, 
I'm excited, I'm nervous. I, I hope they travel well. I hope they're not too scared and I hope they like us. We've literally got two hours to check in. I think International's three hours. We're just waiting for Lucy now. She's had to park far away and we need to check in like a minute ago. So I don't even know what's gonna happen right now. If we miss this flight, uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Are you famous? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> hey you. <laughs> Tune in next week to see if us, the dogs, and our vans make it to Barcelona. Of course there's going to be more drama. It's us. Never easy with Craig and Amy. <laughs> we got stopped by customs like I knew we would. They pulled us in the office and the woman said, you're too late.